guys, I'm Minter from the Quickly team. Welcome back to another exciting Thursday theme day where we showcase our latest design. This week, I will be sharing with you the Martina theme available in the Quickly Design Library, and later on, I will be showing you how to easily create a flip box for our theme element. Let's take a look at this theme. This week's theme is sleek and simple. We achieved this clean look thanks to a purposefully small colour palette that mainly focuses on a vibrant colour that is a cross of blue and purple. Throughout the design, we decided to bring in this colour to nicely tie it in with the whole design. Since our colour palette focuses on such a vibrant colour, we decided to subtly tone it down by unusually combining it with a transparent colour in a gradient. This helps make the design more palatable to a larger audience. On top of this, this theme is original in its structure, since our navigation isn't placed at the top, but at the side. Not only is this great for site accessibility, which is essential for websites nowadays, but it's also a great way to save time for users. Another aspect of this theme's structure is the use of a flip box effect for our team element and contact information yard footer. Flip boxes can liven content and create dynamism and provides a better user experience since it is easy to use and quick to get to information. Now let's move on to building a flip box with the use of relative styling. Here we are in the Gutenberg editor on our front page in the section where we will be building our flip box. Before we do start building, let's go over the structure of our flip box, which isn't overly obvious. The way in which we built it is we have a div in which we will nest two divs inside it. These two divs are basically the front and back side of the flip, that later on, with the use of relative styling, will magically look like they are the flip side of each other. As you can see, I've already added my columns block and the text elements in the first column. Let's select the first column and add a parent div. Let's give it a column direction. Heading to the Advanced tab and into the Sizing panel, let's set a 450 pixel height. Now, inside this div, let's add the div that will contain our team's image and will constitute the front of the flip box. Let's head to the Advanced tab and into the Background panel and set a background image and use the Cover property. Let's now head to the sizing panel and set to the same height as our parent div, which is 450 pixels. Let's also set 100% width. Now we can add a second div to our parent div that will contain social links and that will constitute the back side of the flip box. We can give it a column direction and center it. Now, heading to the advanced tab and into the background panel, we can set a background image and use the cover property. We can also add a nice overlay colour with our purple bluish colour. Let's now head to the sizing panel and set a 450 pixel height and 100% width. Now we can add a 25 pixel white icon. Let's head to the advanced tab and into the borders panel and set an equal one pixel border width. Now let's head to the margin and padding panel and set a five pixel padding so that it improves better. Let's not forget to link this icon. We can quickly add a hover effect to this icon. Switching to hover mode, let's give it our purple blue icon color and set a white background. Switching back to normal mode, we can head to the Advanced tab and into the Effects panel and the Transitions panel and set a 0.4 seconds duration. We can now copy link this icon for three others. I will quickly fill in the icons. Thank you. 
As you can see, all our icons look squeezed together now. Let's fix this by heading to the Advanced tab and into the Margin and Padding panel and set a 10 pixel bottom margin. Now it's time to make our flip box actually flip. Selecting our second div and heading to the Advanced tab and into the Transforms panel, we can toggle the Rotate property and set Y to 0. Let's also toggle the Perspective property and toggle the Preserve 3D property. Let's set the back face visibility to hidden because it hides the other side of the box flip when it's flipped. Now selecting our third div, let's head to the Advanced tab and into the Transforms panel where we can toggle the Rotate property and set Y to 180, which will give us the idea that it's flipping from back to forth. As with our other div, we can toggle the Perspective property and toggle the Preserve 3D property. And once again, we can set the back face visibility to hidden. Let's also head to the Layout panel and position it absolutely so that when it flips, it's placed in the same place as the front side of the flip. Now let's select our parent div and head to the Advanced tab and enter the Transforms panel where we can toggle the Rotate property. Let's also toggle the Perspective property and toggle the Preserve 3D property. We can also set a 1000 pixel length. Now we will be needing relative styling to help us give our flip box the necessary momentum. We will be needing two relative styles, one for our front side of the flip box and another for the back side. So let's add a relative style by heading to the bottom of the advanced tab. Let's rename it to something familiar. Let's set the combinator to descendant, the selector type as class and paste in our second div's class name. Now let's edit this relative style. Let's switch to hover mode because that's when we want our front flip to transition to our back flip. Let's head to the transforms panel and set Y to minus 180 for a full flip. As you can see, now when we hover on our div, our first div disappears. This is not the desired look and it seems as if our toggle properties don't properly affect our second div. But to fix this, we simply need to select our second div and head to the Advanced tab and enter the Effects panel and Transitions and set a 0.8 second duration. As you can see, now it does look like our div is flipping to the back. Now let's head back to our parent div and enter the Advanced tab and add our second relative styling. Let's rename it and repeat the same process as previously which is to say we can set the combinator to descendant, the selected type as class, and paste in our third div's class name. Now let's start editing this relative style. Let's first head to the Transforms panel. We can also set a thousand pixel length. Now switching to hover mode, in the Transforms panel, we can set Y to 0. As you can see, now when we hover on our div, our flipping effect looks glitchy and not quite right, but that's because we need to head to the Effects panel and Transitions panel and set a 0.8 second duration. And that's all there is to the flip box effect. Before we finish, let's quickly select our parent div and head to the Margin and Padding panel and set a 30 pixel bottom margin. We can also copy link our first column and replace our remaining columns. I will quickly fill in the images and text elements.
And there we go, we finished this intricate flipbox animation in a few clicks. This flipbox is completely customizable. For example, for our contact information, we change the flip from a vertical one to a horizontal one with ease. You can customize the look and behavior of any flipbox animation and truly make diverse and original effects, all women quickly. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's focus on the flipbox effect. As always, if you have any questions or maybe even requests, be sure to let us know down below. See you next time. Bye.